All right, Ryan Kerrigan had some time off between teams. He became a free agent back in the middle of March with everyone else. Nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened. And then it happened yesterday. Before the show, he posted on Instagram a farewell to Washington, which made people say, well, where is he going? We found out a couple hours later. He's going to the Philadelphia Eagles, staying in the division. Uh Uh-oh. Now, hey, look, the Eagles are are in the midst of an obvious – I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a rebuild. It's just this strange on-the-fly shedding of players and trying to figure it out, but he stays in the division. Hey, look, I don't don't know how strong the demand was for his services. I saw a report that the Steelers and Bengals wanted him, but it all comes down in many cases – to how much you're going to get paid. And, uh, you know, maybe the Eagles made the best offer, but Kerrigan, the all-time sack leader in Washington football team history, now makes the move in the division from Washington to Philadelphia. That was kind of a surprise yesterday because he'd been out there. He'd been available for so long. But we see that after the draft, there are teams that still have needs. There are veteran players out there, and some of them end up getting their jobs at that point yeah. after teams address or don't address their needs in the draft. Veteran guy, you know, probably not being looked at to be a starter, a guy that you just want in the rotation to play some, you know, some good snaps in every football game. He's going to be choosy about where he goes because of the point he's out of his career, wants to go somewhere where he knows he's going to play, and, of course, the money and all that stuff too. So, yeah, you're right. That's not surprising. Definitely not. And and they didn't expect him back with the Washington football team. I mean, come on. The Washington football team, that front four, they got one her, her, you know Hercules after another there. Kerrigan, though, a legend, really. I mean, not a Hall of Fame football player, but an NFL legend as far as I'm concerned. Certainly a legend and a ring of honor type of guy for the Washington football team. And I think there's a real need for his services on the Eagles. The Eagles are a team right now, I think like you said it, they're a rebuild. It's a rebuild. They can call whatever they want. They're, they're, they're tearing it down and going to build it back up here. And this guy, good culture, going to add some good you know minutes on the, on the defense end, rushing the passer and be part of that rotation. And they love that rotation. When they won the Super Bowl in 2017, I think they had eight guys that yeah, they, they rotated did. in. Constantly keeping him fresh, keeping the pressure on the offensive line, which usually only has five guys with a swing guy, so they get worn down later in the game. Now, Kerrigan, 16th overall pick in 2011, feels like he's been around forever, and it's a long time. It's 10 years. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.